going on everybody? Welcome back to another Disney Docket video. Today of course we're going to be taking a look at all of my Disney Cars prototypes. And yes, I do have over a hundred of them. So sit back, get the popcorn, and enjoy the ride. So we all love our prototypes. We love to collect them because they're so fun, interesting, and unique. And most of them are one of a kind. But what exactly are they? Well, prototypes are basically defined as preliminary models of products to come. They're not completely finished yet, they're just samples, but they get the point of the product across. And so therefore, every company that produces something has to go through a prototype sample test phase. And Mattel is no exception. In fact, they probably make some of the most prototypes in the entire world because they have Hot Wheels, Matchbox, action figures, and of course, Disney cars. They don't sell these prototypes though. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. Why would you sell something that you know, you're working on? It's in progress. They sell the final version. So it makes it super hard to get a hold of these. As you can see though, I do have a lot of them, but it took me a lot to get these. Like it took me some digging, some hardcore researching because a lot of them stay in China. They're just shown to the people in charge there and they're like, okay, that's good. It rolls, we're good to go. Only a few of them actually make it to the United States to be shown to big heads of Mattel. And for the majority of products, those are the play sets. Those are the bigger things like the Precision Series. Those do make it to the United States, but you know, Cruz Basoro, no. I mean, it's just another character. And so most of these are leaked out through Mattel employees in China, sent to collectors or friends in the United States, or sold directly from China on eBay. I get that question all the time, like how did you get that RC Cars 5 or Disney docket back when I used to be called RC Cars 5? And it's super difficult, you have to know what to search. I mean, I search every day Disney Cars prototype, there are certain sellers from China that I know to check regularly. I know when collectors start to sell their collection off. I know to pounce in and try and get their prototypes if they have any. So hopefully that answers your question. If you have any more, let me know. You know, you can message me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever, Google Plus, and I will respond to you. I love talking about this stuff. So let's just dive right in. We're gonna start with the mini adventure prototypes that I do have. Here is a white Lightning McQueen, just a regular Lightning McQueen, I would assume. I have a blue Lightning McQueen as well, probably going to be Dynaco McQueen. I'm not gonna spend too much time on every prototype because like I said, I have over 100, just over, I think I have 100 in three prototypes currently. Here is definitely my favorite mini adventure prototype. This is a monster truck Chick Hicks. The regular version that actually got released is super rare anyways. I never even collected the mini adventures, so I don't even know what this guy would be called, but it's Mater in some sort of like tuner paint job. He's even missing his towing cables back there. And last but not least is DJ. Very, very nice. I also have a couple, I don't know, I don't want to say boring prototypes, but they're not as exciting as the ones you see in front of you. Here is Bob Motor. The simple thing about him is he's missing the grill. And for these ones, I will show you guys the normal version. For all the other ones, it's pretty obvious the differences, but for these, it's a little harder to tell. So they're missing the silver grill there. And also, he does not have a date stamp, which is a big indicator. I mean, of course, somebody could probably scrape it off, but you know, I do like to take people's word for it. I am an idealist, pretty optimistic, so. And you know, you just gotta know your source. Jay Schuster here, minor difference is that roof rack, you know, gray instead of the released brown. Next up is MA Brake Drum. This is the big version that got released, but before that, they actually made a couple small versions just to test the waters. But this is actually the same size of Coriander Y Track, who is MA Brake Drum's daughter, so they had to go with the bigger version. Here is Mike Fuse. Another small difference, side view mirrors are red for this prototype version. And none of these have a date stamp. I mean, I'm not gonna show the bases on all of them, but there is no date stamp. Whereas you can see right there, that white code is a date stamp. I'm going to do this video in a couple takes because of the fact that there are so many cards on my table. Man, there's so many, I have to reorganize every time. 
Here's Dan Sparkenberg. I have this prototype version with like race official Tom's tires instead of the ones that he was actually released with that are a little bit more intricate. And last for these quote unquote boring ones is Brad Windmiller. This is before they decided to add the green piston cup antenna to him. And there's actually three versions here we have where they made the piston cup darker, then they made it lighter, which is actually what they went with for the actual release as well. So this is definitely my favorite out of the ones I showed you. I also do like MA brake drum because that is pretty cool. But I'm gonna reorganize and be right back. Up next here we have Snow Day Sally. One of her wheels isn't painted, and of course she has that white bumper. Same goes with the next couple I got here. Big fan, white bumper, wheels are not painted, and the flag does not have its decal. I'm not sure if he was released with a license plate or taillights, but those aren't there either. Lenticular Tim Rimmer, same thing. This one's not white, it's more of the same type of color, but you can see it doesn't have the press sticker either. No license plate. Show this one also has that white bumper. It's not too noticeable because the rest of her is white, but the spoiler does not have the typical flowery decals. And last for these, I have Andrea here with a nice little white mouth plan. I don't know why Mattel got in like a trend during this year. I know these are all from like 2009 and 2010. They got on a trend of making these all with white mouth plates. Moving over here, we got a bear apple car. I'm pretty sure this is a bear apple car. I mean, it does have the code from the Motor Speedway of the South and those white window bars. So this is pretty ridiculous. Like, yeah, it's a prototype of the Apple iCar. At least, you know, I'm pretty sure it is. Can't say with 100% certainty, but yeah, I mean, I don't know what else it could be. It's one of those bear versions. Speaking of bear versions, here is a bear... World Grand Prix, Lightning McQueen, I don't know, I like saying bear. Moving to another bear one is, I don't know, is this RPM? Is this Ryan Shields for Vusing? I don't know, Mattel probably didn't know either. They just took whatever wheels they have, whatever window inserts they had, and made a cool little prototype of it. Although this is not quite as bare as the other two, you can see that the finish is slightly more, I don't know, finished and here we go on to an engineering prototype one of my more recent acquisitions because this guy just came out this year you might think disney docket that is not a prototype but look again he has 152 engraved into him like if you run your finger across it you can feel that that is engraved and also no date stamp so mattel does that a couple times you can actually see in some of their like images for these cars like the stock images that they put on Amazon, they are engineering prototypes. I remember the XRS Lightning McQueen, engineering prototype, the XRS Dynaco Cruz Ramirez, or was it the, I don't remember, the drag racing one at the New York Toy Fair, another engineering prototype. Now these are some resin or plastic prototypes I got a couple years ago. This here is of Cruz Ramirez. I love that turquoise base. This is a prototype for one of those Crazy 8 Crashers for Chester Whipple Filter Lightning McQueen. I remember these were actually posted before Cars 3 came out, so it verified that the 1.5 was actually like meant to be there. It wasn't just like 95 covered up, you know? I remember that. Everybody was speculating, whoa, speculating about what was going to happen in Cars 3. Those were the days. Here we have a resin Fillmore, probably one of my favorite resin ones that I have. But my favorite resin one that I have is the King that you saw in the intro. Maybe not because it was so staticky. I love this guy. I mean, I just love the colors, the red and the blue. Just look fantastic. Even a little bit of pink in there as well. Some of you guys might prefer this yellow and green Sheriff though. So many colors. That's another reason why I love these prototypes because they just throw on whatever colors they have sitting around. Snot Rod, not as colorful, but he does have his little engine there cool stuff another resin one that i got doesn't look resin but it is as light as a feather this octane gain crew chief you can also see it's a little bit shinier than usual the decals aren't as crisp because they're on plastic and 
put together with screws as the dead giveaway right there. It's also a little brittle. You can see that the roof rack broke up there, but that's before I got it. Don't worry, I'm very careful with my prototypes. Very, very gentle. I'm actually getting a display case just for my prototypes. I actually already got it, but I haven't been able to put it up on the wall yet. Now this is one of my most prized possessions ever. This is a one of a kind prototype. Mattel doesn't even make many prototypes like it. They make prototypes like all this stuff right here. But this is super unique. It is for Dale Earnhardt Jr. 11 out of 20. I'm sure that is the date, November 20th for Dale. I mean, just look at how unique that is. I've never really seen anything like this besides this one right here. I love it. You can kind of see like the window bars in there. It almost just looks like a glob, but if you think about it, yeah, you're like, that is Dale. I think it's a little smaller than how Dale ended up being, but yeah, definitely one of my most prized possessions. So I'm gonna leave them out. Speaking of prized possessions, these are fantastic. These are the original resin prototypes that Mattel used to photograph for the desert card backs way back in 2006. Don't believe me? Look at that. That is not your typical boost right there, or boost. He's gray, he's not purple like he actually was released as. You can see that is how he was released. That is the gray version. That is this version right here. They may have made multiples of these, but I doubt more than 10. And they certainly don't pop up much anymore. Same thing with this Chick Hicks right here, which is a little bit more identifiable on the card back. You can definitely see with that expression, they are the same. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are resin, like I said, put together with screws, super duper light, but the decals definitely are very, you know, they're grainy for sure, but Mattel certainly put a lot of effort into these prototypes way back in the day. Where should we go to next? I'm getting a little disorganized here. I gotta kinda put everything together. Why not show off Elvis? Another one of my recent acquisitions. I got this guy several months ago for only like five bucks on eBay because no one saw the auction, I guess. So I was pretty pumped about that. You can see that the decal over here is smeared off. He has no decals on the side, no painted headlights. And of course, he is sleeping. The tire color is also a little different than how they were released. And of course, no date stamp. Do they have the year on here? No, unfortunately not. I think this is probably the 2013 reissue of Albus and not the old one from 2009. All right, let's go now. Just down the row here. We got Linda Weathers, Mrs. The King. Kind of bare, but this is definitely shinier than those other ones that I showed you. You also have like a purple roof rack and yellow side view mirrors, which I find really cool. We have Pocky from Tokyo Mather. He's just missing the bandana decal and some of the purple on his fenders and the windows, I think. There were multiples of that prototype made. I've seen at least two, I think. Up next, we have Luigi and Guido. Just black versions with white bases. I think these actually look pretty cool. They kind of serve as like maybe like Halloween ghost costumes. I don't know. I like those a lot. Time Travel Mater Lightning McQueen. This is the one with that opening hood. Pretty sweet. This is even before they changed the decals on McQueen to make them fit for the, you know, progression of time after Cars 2. Because these are still Cars 1 decals. Speaking of Time Travel Mater, here we have Stanley. This guy is awesome. I love just like the white part there, and this in the back is pretty much the same as how it was released, but the white portion certainly is not. Mater with no tires. White and brown with some yellow in the back, yellow rims. He also has these weird like sticks, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be like cut off eventually, but they left those on for this prototype here. And same type of deal or kind of similar prototypes with this Nurse GTO. A nice red and yellow mixture. I got her three years ago. She was definitely one of my first prototypes, so she holds near and dear with my heart. All right, we're gonna move on to, let's just do it. Let's just do the ones everybody's been looking for. Rhonda, green moth plate, 
red wheels in the front, black in the back, green base. I mean, you can't go wrong with these colors. She just looks fantastic. Maybe even better than the release version. Who knows? Race Damage Mood Springs. These guys came from a French seller, Catartes. He still sells some stuff now and then, but he sold off most of his prototypes. These two cost an arm and a leg. And I had to get new arms and a new leg because these were very, very expensive. Moving on to this Puget Reporter. Yeah, or Fiat Reporter, my bad. There's so many, you know, Italian or European car brands for these reporters. I get mixed up. But this is actually a prototype of a canceled car. This guy was never made. If you saw my video on the canceled cars two weeks ago, you would have seen this guy. And the only difference are those orange wheels. Now, speaking of prototypes of canceled cars, Miko. This is basically a Sally with a flag, but she was seen in Italy cheering on Chu to the Roki. I'll try and put a picture of what she would have looked like on the screen right there. Take five of they dropped that image like four and a half years ago. I remember. Maybe it was even more than that. And too bad she never got a release. Just that prototype. Now these are my first prototypes. I remember I got these like four years ago. Or three, I don't know. But Van here. Or maybe Van Sand because he's got that mouth open or it actually just might be the lenticular version of van you never know because there were so many uh prototypes or just different versions of van back in 2010. i remember this seller also had a yellow komodo but i guess i just didn't like komodo these sold pretty cheaply this is stripped kabuto these did sell pretty low like under 35 dollars and i just thought Nah, I like these two better because there's like those black mouth plates. I remember my thinking. I was like, Komodo's all yellow. I don't want him. And I still can't even find a picture of him, by the way. I've been wanting to take a look at him again. I probably just hate myself for not getting him. Here's Bruce Boxman. Missing the yellow stripes and, of course, the eyes there. One of my least favorite prototypes, though. I prefer when they change more stuff up, you know, when it's less, I don't know, that was more into production. I want stuff that's more primitive, if that is a good word to describe it. Here we have a prototype for Lewis Hamilton on the right that's yellow and neon Lewis Hamilton on the left that is orange. You can see the wheels as well. Looking good. Now I will kind of talk about where I got these individual ones from coming up because most of these actually did come from the same guy. They originally came from Qatar days, as I was just talking about who gave me these two, not gave me, sold me those two. Here's Nigel Gearsley from the Neon line, by the way. But Code May Zero, who used to be my sponsor, Amazing Boys Toys Co., he bought, I'd say like 25 prototypes from Qatar days on eBay. But they had like some sort of deal where, you know, you take money off. And all of these that I'm showing you right now, starting with those Lewis Hamiltons, came from Qatar days. Code May Zero bought them, and then he stopped collecting, and so I eventually got them. So here's Kabuto Ninja. Not a big fan of this one either because of the fact that he's the color that he was released in, but the black rims and the white mouth bite's pretty cool. Here is another Piston Cop racer that we don't know who he would have been, but I do get some fiber fuel vibes when I look at him. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the orange-ish windows or the brown, I don't know, but maybe it would have been him. Maybe it would have been somebody completely different like Trunk Fresh. But I do like kind of the, I don't know, darker colors on this prototype. You know, I'm telling you guys, I love prototypes. I've been really enjoying collecting them recently and this one comes with a story. I mean, all of them do, but this one especially because you guys know back in 2012 when they released Eric Lanley, who is this guy, they originally thought he was a Fiat. I don't know why, but they did. So they put that on the base. They made the art look like that on the card back. Or maybe it was like Mattel's fault all along because Pixar sent them images for the Eric Lanley or the flag waiver in Porta Corsa, which was actually a Fiat. 
And then Mattel was like, nah, we gonna make the Japanese one. So they made this one who's actually a Honda Civic. So they had to correct it, but some were leaked out that had this, you know, Fiat text on the bottom. There were even some that were sold that, you know, Mattel scratched it off literally. But yeah, this guy's pretty sweet, just plain white. And there is the hole, by the way, for the flag. Another white prototype, we got High Hydraulic Ramon. High and low Ramon, he's got his blue or purple, what am I talking about? Purple mouth plate there, but the rest is white. We need a white Ramon, I'm telling you guys. There has been no white Ramones at all. No black Ramones either. And I think white would look really classy on Ramon. It's Mater time. We got Goofy Mater right here. I think this guy's even got some writing on his side. Yeah, he's got some Sharpie. And that reminds me, I forgot to bring out one of my prototypes. I was like, there's this one prototype I have, I'll show you guys later, that just has Sharpie writing on it, which is what makes it a prototype. And I keep that one separate for some reason, so now I have to go find that one. Here is Beanie Hat Mater. This guy's pretty cool. He just has one little propeller, but don't worry, it came that way. I did not break it off. Pretty sweet. And last for the Maters, actually I do have one more, but he's a little different. This is Mater with Hood. Man, I really wish they made a non-lenticular version of Mater with Hood, but I guess there's still hope eventually they may release him. Now on to some World Grand Prix racers. We got Miguel Camino. I guess I already did show you some World Grand Prix racers, but we got more. Miguel Camino, who's got all sorts of colors. He's got purple, red, yellow, black. And Ripklitch Gonski, or the metallic version that has black fenders and bumper in the front. Cool stuff. Now this is one of my all-time favorite prototypes. I don't know why, but I love this van. I mean, the suitcase that is brown and the moth plate and being lenticular, I just think it looks really cool. No license plate or tail light either. Tail lights. Yeah, I just really do like this one for some reason. It reminds me of Lost in the Desert van, even though clearly it's not. Couple more piston car racers in the shape of Leakless. This one probably would have been the lenticular Leakless because we can see the yellow eyes right there, but maybe not. We got a white base, brown body, clear windows, and we have a turquoise guy, another white base. I don't know why, but it looked like someone took a knife to the roof here and kind of carved a grid. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know what happened there. Who knows who this guy could have been too? Maybe Vitaline, maybe Revingo. We'll never know. They also have black rims, so we can't discern anything from that. Another one of my favorites is Marty Brake Burst here. I just like the color green and the blue piston cup antenna there. Looks really, really cool. All these though, still from Code May Zero, who actually still has some good stuff on eBay if you'd like to check them out. Karisu. This guy goes well with my Strip Kabuto and Kabuto Ninja. Nice yellow and black. Got a couple more tuners coming up here. We have Kabuto with Flames. This is the 2013 release because before he was canceled but you can tell that it's a 2013 version because of that expression there just a black flame so that one's kind of boring and here is yellow boost with flames and they're brown so i let you guys interpret what that may actually be instead of flames come on mattel why would you make it brown up all the colors why 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 lubwig I wish this guy had something more different about him than just losing the eyes there and the taillights and the license plate. And maybe if they made all these suitcases different colors, that would be awesome. I would definitely get that prototype, but this one's pretty basic. I got a couple stages of Jonathan Shifko here. We got the first stage when they made them just all red. They went all out. I mean, they made the base red, the tires red. He looks really cool. And then you have this Jonathan Shifko, where it's a little bit more into production, but you're still missing the taillights in the back and the eyes, of course. <laughs> 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 
Moving on now to this unspun Carlo Veloso. If I remove the rubber bands here, which I don't like doing because it's a pain to get her back together, but she is completely apart. Like, look at that. You can take all of this stuff apart. You can take off the front bumper, the axles and everything. This did not come from Code May Zero. This came from a friend of mine. I don't know where he got it from, but still very cool. I don't have anything like this, so very happy to add it to my collection. Now, if we can get it back together, that would be great. Oh, one try. It's not clicking. I feel like it's got to click. I don't know. I'll do it later. No worries. All right, we're going to move on now to actually one more from Catartes. This is the pre-production version, basically, of Silver Francesco Bernoulli, where he still had the red helmet and silver on the spoiler back there. You can actually see this in the stock images that Take 5 a Day posted way back in 2011 until Mattel decided to take the silver from the spoiler and put it on the helmet. So that one's pretty sweet. Now for these upcoming ones, I got these from a friend in Germany who got them from another collector. These are all Lightning McQueen prototypes. We got Holiday Hotshot McQueen over here. We have two World Grand Prix Lightning McQueens that have one as a white front bumper, one has a white spoiler. And what is that nastiness under the spoiler? What is that? You guys see that? I don't know what that is back there. But that looks a little gross. But anyway, those are pretty cool. They're like twins to me. And now this is the Signature Series, not the Precision Series. This came far before the Precision Series. It's very, very similar to the Precision Series, though. But there are some minor differences, like I believe in the gas cap back here and the rims I think but yeah very similar like when I first saw that I was like definitely precision series but then the guy was like nah I got this or my friend got it way back in 2010 so couldn't have been all right we're getting a little messy right here I'm trying to organize sorry guys um before we move on to all the Thailand prototypes that I have or most likely from Thailand we're gonna go to these two China ones that I got earlier in 2018 now, I might have gotten ripped off on this Cruz Ramirez because she has a date stamp, and that really, really bothers me. It really bothers me. Like, come on, seller. Did you just rip me off? Because I will come for you. But I thought the seller was legit because this Sigler is definitely a legit prototype. I mean, there's no date stamp on there. Everything is a different color. The base, the tires, the body, these little sticks here. So this is a legit prototype and it's definitely one of my favorites for sure. And the same seller at the same time had this Cruz Ramirez. So I was like, it's gotta be real, but mm, I don't know. I don't like to see sight of that date stamp. They also took off the license plate. So we'll see about that. I like to take, you know, the seller's word, but when I see a date stamp, I do get a little nervous. All right, so now moving on to some Thailand cars that come from V-Mont, V-Mont, V-M-A-O-N-T. The seller still has some test shots, as he calls them, which is basically the same thing as a prototype. So you can check those out if you want to search them up. Just search Disney Cars Test Shot. I'm not sponsored by him in any way, but I do recommend him. He's a great seller. He's got some good prices as well. So I got this flow from him, this race team flow that I guess appeared in Cars 3, but I don't remember her, so she probably didn't appear. So probably some imaginary -itis. I think that's what they call it, Imaginitis or something like that, where Mattel just imagines a car and releases it. But this one's pretty sweet, you know, you got a brown, orangish base, red pieces, and of course a bare body. Up next, kind of similar deal here with this Roger Wheeler or the Dynaco Crew Chief. He's got some blue parts. The headset is pink and it's actually a little loose on the top there. He's got some like Hot Wheels tires. That's kind of what I find strange about these. These are like Hot Wheels, but I guess they just, you know, put whatever they had laying around on this guy. Now this guy's also Thailand made, pretty sure. Some of these say Thailand 
some of them don't say anything, just made in ghost land. I don't know, but very, very, you know, this was like in between when everything went from China to Thailand. So lots of confusion going on here, but we're just going to say that this is in Thailand because of the fact that when he actually does get released, it will be a Thailand made car. You can see the 95 hat. This guy's all metal, so he's pretty hefty. Pretty sweet though, you know, with all those colors. Now this is one of my all-time favorite prototypes of Gail Boffer or Cruz Ramirez's semi because we know that those will be coming out probably in the next year or so. I do like to think of this one as Gail though. It just kind of looks like Gail. But yeah, I love it being bare and all that stuff. I mean, yeah, you can even see the trailer hitch back there, the pink parts. Love it. The seller also had a Miss Fritter Frank prototypes and a couple others like TJ, a Guido, but those are like one of a kind. A lot of this, you know, seller does have multiples of these prototypes because they are a little bit barer than usual. Like here's this red. This one is a one of a kind though. Very, very nicely done. I love the colors in the back. But like I was trying to just articulate to you guys, these ones here, all these blue ones, most of them are multiples. Like there are multiples of these just because they're so like ground level, you know, before anything really started happening to them. These are all like Thailand cars. You got Jenny Towsland here or Tozland here. And I think that's her name. I have two of her. This here is Jen Tan Sedan. Got two of her as well. Those are the bases. Bases. See, you got like Hot Wheels or Matchbox tires on some of these, which is something I've never seen before. I have three Vanden Kurs. None of these have even been really previewed yet as a die cast, just on that 2019 2018 poster. Base, base, base. I bought a lot of these, you know, hoping that one of them would be different, but they really are all the same. A couple Bill Revs. This guy's pretty cool. This guy actually will be out relatively soon. And Sterling with headset. I like this one a little bit more because of the red headset piece. This guy should be coming out soon as well. I'm sure you guys have been eyeballing this one for a while. You got the Lizzie from the Radiator Springs 500 and a half. A lot of people, you know, there's been a lot of debate about like where this Lizzie appeared. Was it Road Trip? Was it Time Travel Mater? Was it Radiator Springs 500 and a half? But if you look through each of those three, it is the Radiator Springs 500 and a half. So is this canceled then? Because obviously that short is long ago and they probably aren't going to bring it back just to release Lizzie. Who knows, but I love this prototype. I mean, just look at the detailing in that hat there. Nothing to talk about on the base. I also have a DJ with flames to go along with that boost with flames. Cool stuff. These ones are transparent. You got some white or gray tires in the front. Up next, we have Mo Revlin, who is somebody that appeared, I guess, at the Demolition Derby. Same thing with this guy, who is Kevin Riven, a Land Rover. I think the seller still has a couple Mo Revlins up, so you know, you guys can definitely get your hands on some of these. They are all less than like $40. I think Sterling with headset, though, the seller has for a little higher, but you can definitely make an offer. Got a couple Globies from the seller as well. I love this guy. I mean, Globie, like how can you complain about that? This guy will be coming out very soon as a super chase. Beautiful. Getting toward the end here, we have some CBs, the Transberry Juice Cab. These guys are pretty sweet. This one though has a wacky side view mirror. One of these, I remember the seller had one that was different. It was bare instead of being blue. And that one was actually resold through another eBay seller. So unfortunately, could not get my hand on that one. I think the seller still has some of these, but they are a little bit more expensive. Understandably so for a deluxe. This thing's hefty. 
Who next? I only have a few more. We have a Bessie here. And now this is a prototype because there's no dirt or oil or grit on it at all. Mattel never released even a variant of a clean Bessie. It even looks surreal like to look at it. It's like she just came out of the factory, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty cool to see. And I think to close it up, we have just these two that I showed in my canceled car video because they can be mistaken as canceled cars. But more than likely, they are prototypes of Sedania Oskinian and the rest of the Autobahn Society game that came out in 2016 because they match the ones from the Peterson Museum. And I just don't see why Mattel would make more of the Autobahn Society cars when they already released three. So I think these are prototypes. I will be right back with that other prototype that I was talking about with Sharpie and then we're gonna close it up. Now, yeah, somebody could have just taken a Sharpie and marked this one up and would have been like, hey, yeah, this is a prototype. But I got it from a very reliable source, a fellow collector who had connections to Mattel. So I'd like to think it's real. And it's also pretty common, you know, for them to be like this with an okay on it. I've seen others like it, but I guess that doesn't really, you know, support the fact that it's real, but I'd like to think it is. Also can't find a date stamp on this one, so that's another plus. Pretty boring though, definitely one of my least favorite prototypes. And last but not least is my package prototype, my zenith of my collection. Probably not though, some of my canceled cars are better. But this is a Carlo Veloso, Raul Sarul, Nigel Gearsley prototype launcher. Like they literally threw everything they had into this launcher to test it out. So first of all, the launcher is not painted whatsoever. It is set up to be though one of those World Grand Prix standard launchers instead of the character specific ones like you see here and here. Those are character specific. On the back it features Nigel Gearsley and the best part about it is it says first sample 7-4 if I can get a good yeah there we go first sample that's pretty cool. I'd even buy it knowing it said that. I just bought it for the fact that the launcher was blank. So yeah, I mean, it even says first sample. And again, somebody could have wrote that, but how though? Like, how would you get a launcher that is barren like this, get a Raul Cerule name tag, attach it all to a Nigel Gearsley card back, and still have a Carla Veloso in there that does not even have a date stamp? Like, I can't see a date stamp on her. So. This is pretty sweet as well. I got this from the same seller as the Easy Idle cab and the Fiber Fuel cab and the Retread trailer. So a reliable seller without a doubt. And Elvis prototype came from them as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video is super long, I know, but you know, there was a lot of prototypes to show off. So I hope you guys definitely enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Let me know in the comment section below though, which prototype is your favorite. And if you have any of your own, let me know. I'd love to hear about them. See you guys next time. Bye now.